Oh, come on, do it, do it now. Get to the chopper, the 2022 Arnold's Classics. It is very shortly. I definitely would say Brett Wilkin and Justin Rodriguez. It, it, that is if you have Brandon Curry locked or picked as a, a lock for the win at the Arnold Classic. I'm sure you have Brett Wilkin and Justin Rodriguez battling it out for second place. Of course, there are many other variables. William Bonac could even win this event. I mean, you got Samson Douda. You don't know where he's going to place. He's looking a lot better. But I don't think that I have ever seen a comparison. I know I've never set one up between these two guys. It could be a very competitive matchup between these two dudes. Structurally speaking, these guys are not similar at all. The waistline, much smaller for Brett Wilkin, but so are his arms. So are his, uh, his wheels. Well, he's got a pretty decent sized set of quads. They don't look as dry as uh, Rodriguez. Now, Rodriguez, his waistline might be a little bit wider, but look at the size difference of their arms. Justin Rodriguez, I don't know why too many people aren't talking about this guy. I think Nick Strength and Power had him, oh gosh darn it, I don't know, he had him up there. Third place maybe at the Arnold Classic? He didn't have Brett Wilkin, and I was a little bit shocked at that. But hey, you don't know how it's going to end up, guys. Front double by, I would wager to say, Brett will be in trouble against Rodriguez. The front lat spread, however, would probably be a Brett pose. His wheels even look a lot better in this pose than they did in the front double. It's an outstanding shot for him, sure, but let's face it, in a lineup, that width, that size, and that, that coupled with the dryness that Justin Rodriguez brings to the bodybuilding stage, I don't know, I don't know. I could very, like, very well see the judges even sliding towards a man like Justin Rodriguez just because of the width. But if you take a really close look, look at the lats, the detail... Much smaller clavicle width, sure, but I would say there's no doubt Brett Wilkin ties things up if you're going to go with Justin in the front double, that is. Now, as we turn to the side, it looks like a matchup between these two guys. Nobody's going to win based on this shot between these two guys. Rodriguez, his wheels look, they just look like they mean more business. They got some glutes tied in there, and they got nice hanging hamstring. A lot of detail for Brett as well. Pecs, a little bit more detail in the midsection for uh, Wilkin as well. The the arms, we look at the, the size of the arms on this Rodriguez. Very thick set of pecs as well on both dudes. Both dudes. So, yeah, can't really, can't really uh, pick a guy or uh, pick a guy as a winner based on this shot. Now, the side tricep, however, I would most certainly give this one to Wilkin. That upper body, the physique itself, and the tricep, good arm, good arm, good flow, coupled with the lag as well. Good set of wheels on Brett. This makes this pose very difficult to defeat. And when it comes to Justin Rodriguez, I mean, every bodybuilder has a weak pose. This may be... Justin Rodriguez's weakest pose, which is saying a lot for this man because this is not a bad shot, not a bad shot at all, but compared against uh, Brett Wilkin in this outstanding, brilliant pose of his, I would say, Wilkin, all day long. Have a look at the back shots. And this one here, <laughs> this is a, you know, this is a telling tale. You guys know what I'm going to say? Anybody? Anybody that watches this channel? You, you guys know what I'm going to say. Justin Rodriguez is destroying Wilkin in the back department. There's no way, guys. There's no way. But if if you follow Brett Wilkin on Instagram, you know that the guy has improved, in particular, this rear lat spread tenfold. But as is, guys, hey, who's to say Justin Rodriguez has not improved in leaps and bounds as well? As far as his back's concerned, that is a lot of thick Latin insertions for Rodriguez. Yeah, that says a lot. It says a lot. Rear double bicep. This is a better shot for Wilkin. And they, like I said, they they improved his rear lat spread. But did they improve the rear double as well? Well, probably not because it's a very, you know, it's a good shot. It's a cleaner, neater shot. Maybe better muscle separation, more symmetrical. 
things of that nature than Rodriguez. But Justin brings a huge back. Look at that. All striated and cross striated and grainy. It's a very grainy look. And I just do not see Brett Wilkin. As is, anyway, guys. He is improving, but as is, I just do not see Brett Wilkin defeating Rodriguez in either of the back shots, for that matter. Abs and thigh pose. You guys remember that show, Dawson's Creek. <laughs> Brett looks like one of those guys used to, you know, could talk to their chick. Hey, I wrote you a song. He got, you know what I mean? He looks like one of those... Beverly Hills 90210 guys. Brett. It would be a guy named Brett, too. Hi, I'm Brett. I wrote you a song. Anyway, needs a little bit more ab separation to battle with the likes of Rodriguez. I, You look at these two guys' physiques in the first couple of shots, and you would swear Brett would be able to take out Rodriguez in the abs and thigh. But Justin is like a Nick Walker. Sure, sure, he's built... You know, he's built thicker in the midsection, everywhere else too. But he has separated, even divorced abs. So, I would give this one to Rodriguez. And when you finish it up, it's kind of self-explanatory. Both of these guys possess a fantastic physique. Not too many weak points in these guys. Not too many at all. Forearms and calves, I noticed. A little bit of a weak point. For Wilkin, you know, really only notice the uh, forearms in that front double bicep pose. In which case, I am sure he has improved. But, I mean, Justin, he's maybe a little bit more complete when you take that into consideration. He doesn't have that Victorian waistline like Brett does, though. He has a little bit more meat on the quads, though. So that might make the difference. And at the end of the day, he's a bigger, more muscular specimen. So Justin Rodriguez, as is now... As is now, he will get a higher place at the Arnold Classic 2022. But guys, the X Factor is Brett Wilkin has been improving tenfold. So has Justin Rodriguez. It's going to be uh, two guys you're going to want to keep your eye on. And I will be coming out, or coming out with a top 10, maybe, prediction list for the Arnold Classics. So... Definitely look for these guys to be uh, predicted for second and third. I got in my mind right now, but you know me, you know me. I can, I can go out with these weird predictions. Hey, I might even predict Max Charles to win the 2022 Arnold's Classics. What do you guys think about that? And you can't even hit thumbs down on it, can you? <laughs> oh, jeez, yes, you, you can. And and anyway, it just doesn't show up for me. Hit thumbs up on this video, guys, and subscribe to the channel, because you just might miss that top 10 prediction list. Now, beam me up, Scotty.